The wicked young woman, seeing her so weak and still demanding protection, sneered disdainfully, Shinrua Dian, do you even know? Senior brother has returned, he's not a waste at all. Hearing these words only made her feel more bitter and resentful. Why? Why? Why did Master leave and that scum still abandons me while he is still alive? If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be in this situation, enduring oppression and humiliation. The malicious woman had no intention of sparing Shinrua Dian, she approached, grabbing Shinrua Dian's hair tightly, then whispered in her ear, don't delude yourself. Senior brother won't come back to save a waste like you. He's a proud disciple, not someone like you, forever incapable. Shinrua Dian, feeling helpless and in pain, could only weakly deny, I, I, I am not hopeless. Helplessly, she thought, I just want to live peacefully. Why do they have to treat me like this? It's because I blindly trusted that scum that I'm in this situation now. At this moment, her body was suddenly enveloped in a mysterious blue light from her eyes, emitting a strange glow. If I could cultivate, if I could become strong enough, I would surely make those who have oppressed and forced me to this point, and even the Supreme Sword sect, pay for it all. At this point, a mysterious figure approached from behind, unnoticed by the wicked woman, who only saw Shinrua Dian's helpless weakness and couldn't resist chuckling triumphantly. Haha, <laughs> look at her struggling like a dog, it's so humiliating, haha. <laughs> As the mysterious man approached, the good sisters of the wicked woman recognized him and stuttered, Senior sister, it's him behind you. Seeing the panicked expression of her good sisters, she turned around, only to realize it was senior brother, Su Chongxing. He was advancing with a cold and imposing face. The wicked woman, who had been arrogantly oppressing Shinrua Dian earlier, was now terrified and could only stutter without speaking. His sudden appearance frightened all three of them, making them think in horror. We didn't expect senior brother to return like this. We might not be able to handle this. Without much thought, they released Shinrua Dian, letting her fall to the ground, and together they knelt in front of Su Chongxing like dogs, saying, it's our fault, we're sorry. The good sisters beside them also echoed, yes, we won't dare to do such things again. The good sisters beside also quickly agreed, yes, we won't dare to do such despicable things anymore. Hearing this, Su Chongxing's voice turned stern, causing the wicked sisters to pale with fear. You all better leave quickly and remember, you must not reveal what happened today. Yes, yes, the frightened sisters quickly retreated obediently like well-trained dogs. Su Changxing found this somewhat surprising and thought, just a warning, and they're already this scared? These three seem quite suspicious. As the three women slowly stood up and retreated, they muttered to each other in disbelief, what should we do now? I really can't understand why senior brother would return to seek out this useless person. Indeed, there was also the scene of the hero, saving the beauty. He's not the kind-hearted type. Moreover, he specifically warned us not to reveal this incident. Suddenly, the wicked woman interjected, Ah, I understand now. Senior brother must have remembered his toy that he brought back before. This time, he must have come up with a new game to play. He's truly cunning. After the three women had left, Su Changxing slowly approached the weak, Shinrua Dian, who was sitting on the ground. He gently extended his hand in front of her and warmly asked, Are you all right? Due to her poor eyesight, Shinrua Dian couldn't recognize who was standing in front of her, so she asked, Sir, did you save me? May I ask for your esteemed name? At this moment, he slowly helped her up, feeling a bit conflicted as he silently pondered, according to the story, her vision is damaged. Should I reveal my true identity? Not knowing who was in front of her, Shinrua Dian thanked him, I'm truly sorry, I overstepped my boundaries. You must be a senior figure with extraordinary insight, so you don't even need to take action personally to drive away those disciples. Hearing this, Su Changxing was slightly taken aback and could only utter a word, um. However, in his heart, he was worried about her reasoning, thinking it was quite logical. He didn't know what those people encountered that made them behave as if they encountered demons. Shinrua Dian continued, I thank the senior for helping me. Tonight, I will leave the Supreme Sword sect. The great kindness you've shown today, Shinrua Dian, will surely repay it in the future. But as she finished speaking, her body involuntarily fell towards Su Chang, Xing. Normally, he would quickly reach out to catch her. Feeling a bit perplexed, he said, what kind of repayment is this? But before he could finish his sentence, the scene in front of him suddenly darkened, replaced by a terrifying scene in the future between Su Chang, Xing and Shinrua Dian. At this moment, she held a sharp sword in her hand, charging towards Su Changxing, who stood there full of resentment, shouting loudly, Su Changxing, you go die. Panic-stricken, he thought, where did this gratitude come from? He felt that if he let her go like this, things would become extremely complicated in the future. By then, it would be difficult to resolve peacefully. Su Changxing grabbed onto her tightly and said, you can't go, you can't go anywhere. 
His actions and tone suddenly became stern, leaving Shen Ruadian a bit confused as she timidly asked, Senior? What's wrong with you? Seeing that he might have acted too abruptly, he calmly sat back down on the chair and said gently, regarding matters concerning the future, I suggest you think carefully about leaving this place. Hearing such words, she burst into tears, her cheeks wet with tears, sobbing, Senior, do you still think I have a future? My eyesight is fading, and my beloved master, who loved me the most, has passed away. In this cold and oppressive Supreme Sword sect, why should I stay? Isn't leaving better? Seeing her extreme thoughts, Su Changsheng placed his hand on her shoulder reassuringly and firmly affirmed, In fact, I know you have potential. This statement made Shen Rua Dian stop crying, as she couldn't believe her ears. She asked again, Do I have potential? But Shen Rua Dian hesitated, still feeling insecure, lowering her head timidly, saying, But everyone has always said I couldn't. Before she could finish her sentence, she reconsidered the mysterious words of the senior, realizing that someone of such high status had no reason to deceive her. Being bullied and looked down upon for so long had made her lose trust in her own abilities. Nonetheless, Su Changsheng didn't give up. He gently held Shen Rua Dian's hand and said, You can trust me. I am your friend, so you don't need to be afraid. He thought to himself, Anyway, it's already like this. Now she can't see clearly and doesn't even know who she is. It's best to comfort each other. Oh, right, your eyesight isn't good, is it? Su Changsheng asked, curiously. She blushed a little, embarrassed, and said, Yes, it's an old illness of mine, but it's worsened recently, since my master passed away. But anyway, senior, you don't have to worry too much. Seeing this, Su Changsheng placed a small vial of precious medicine into Shen Rua Dian's palm. Even though he was so close, from Shen Rua Dian's perspective, she could only see a blurred, warm figure of the mysterious senior before her. He carefully placed the vial into her hand and said, This is good medicine. It may help improve your eyesight, but one dose won't cure you. You'll need to use this medicine for a long time in the future. If I have the chance, I'll come back to visit you. For the first time in this cold Supreme Sword sect, she felt the warmth of someone caring for her. This made her a bit shy, her cheeks turning pink as she said, Senior, I never expected that in this cold Supreme Sword sect, aside from my master, there would be someone else who cares about me. Su Chang Shing chuckled and said, You don't have to call me Senior. Just call me Brother Senior, that's fine. I have a few things to take care of, so I'll leave first. After Su Chang Shing finished speaking, he turned and left. Shen Rua Dian sat on the stone bench, watching the mysterious senior's departing figure, and said, Senior, thank you. Once he reached his residence and looked around. But before he could think further, he suddenly remembered something and exclaimed in horror, Just now, to escape early, I agreed to let that troublemaker, Yushur, stay in my room. I need to quickly see what she has done to my room. With that, Su Changsheng hurriedly ran back to his room, opening the door wide in panic and concern. However, the sight inside the room pushed him into despair. His once quiet and peaceful room was now decorated by Yushur, to resemble a honeymoon suite for newlyweds. Everywhere in the room was covered in lucky red, with the character Double Happiness even pasted on the door. The bedding was completely changed as well. Seeing this, he couldn't help but feel afraid and said, What has happened here? Su Changsheng stood in the room, scanning the area, but couldn't find Yushur anywhere. He approached the bright red bed with confusion and called out to her. Suddenly, an arm from nowhere appeared and grabbed his hand, causing him to startle in fear. It turned out to be Yushur, holding his hand tightly and pulling him down onto the bed she had carefully prepared. Caught off guard, he couldn't react and fell onto her embrace. Yushur said, Changsheng, do you like this new bedroom? A gloomy atmosphere quickly enveloped the entire room. Observing Yushur lying on the bed, Su Changsheng thought to himself, Zhao Yushur, good or bad, I am your master in name. Why do you enjoy being on top of me like this? Do you have such a strange preference? As Zhao Yushur continued to approach him, Su Changsheng looked away and said hesitantly, Although I agreed to let you sleep in my room, this arrangement. Hearing this, Zhao Yushur's face darkened, showing a hint of displeasure as she slowly asked, Don't you like it? Faced with Zhao Yushur's intimidating demeanor, Su Changsheng awkwardly replied, I like it, I really like it. Upon hearing the satisfactory answer, Zhao Yushur embraced Su Changsheng and lay on the bed, saying, If you like it, then it's settled. From now on, this will be our sleeping place. In contrast to Zhao Yushur's happiness, Su Changsheng's worries escalated rapidly. If she slept here today, he would definitely expose his true cultivation level, and he wouldn't be able to cultivate anymore. Instead of waiting for Zhao Yushur to commit a heartless and inhumane act against him, Su Changsheng hastily sat up and said, No, this is not right. I only agreed to let you sleep in my room, not to sleep together. Before Zhao Yushur could react, Su Changsheng quickly got off the bed and headed towards the door. 
You rest here, I'll go tidy up another room, he said. But Su Changsheng had barely taken a few steps when he heard Zhao Yuxiu's cold voice, prompting him to turn back. He saw Zhao Yuxiu slowly removing her outer garment, revealing a seductive and ample bosom. Before Su Changsheng could react, Zhao Yuxiu pounced on him once again. At this moment, a thought flashed through Changsheng's mind, if I do something with her now, will she dare to tease me like this in the future? Just as Zhao Yuxiu was about to take advantage of Su Changsheng, the White Empress suddenly appeared to rescue him. The White Empress glanced at Yuxiu and said, I sensed a very familiar aura, the divine artifact that can heal your physical condition is indeed in this sect. Seeing Yuxiu release him, Changsheng breathed a sigh of relief. He thought to himself, it seems that the White Empress's mental state and true power have both been restored. Upon hearing his master's words, Yuxiu hugged Changsheng and said, Changsheng will never deceive me because we have been in love for a long time. Seizing this opportunity, Changsheng smoothly continued, When I become the sword master, I will have the authority to enter the sword master's secret realm. By then, the problem of your physical condition will be completely resolved. Perplexed, the white empress transmitted, Changsheng, why become the sword master? Supreme sword sect is just a mediocre sect. With me and our senior here, we can easily destroy this sect. Terrified, Su Changsheng recoiled, stuttering, No, no, we can't do that. Angered, the White Empress retorted, In the cultivation world, the strong prey on the weak, kill, to seize treasures, it's normal. Moreover, becoming the sword master means bringing harm to our seniors. We can easily crush them as well. As Su Changsheng's face darkened, he silently thought, Why do you overestimate me so much? If I really make a move, I will expose the fact that I'm a waste. He then adopted a mysterious demeanor and said, This matter needs further consideration and must follow the proper sequence. As he spoke, Su Changsheng felt a bit hesitant, wondering how to make the White Empress give up that idea. Both the White Empress and Yushur also pondered why they needed to consider further and follow a sequence at this moment. Suddenly, the White Empress had a moment of enlightenment and thought, I understand now. It must be karma. Creating chaos and destroying karma will certainly harm us. Upon hearing the White Empress praise herself for being clever, Su Changsheng felt bewildered and silently wondered, what is she talking about? Clever about what? As the White Empress rushed out, she added, I'll take you sure, to stabilize her cultivation. Once she become the Sword Master, she won't let down your trust. You sure, being dragged away by the White Empress, panicked and shouted, wait for me, wait for me. I haven't had a taste of Changsheng yet. The White Empress glanced back at Yushur and said, Right now, your task is to cultivate. Looking towards Truong Sin, Yushur said, Changsheng, don't run away tonight. After saying this, they both left, leaving Su Changsheng alone in the room. He sighed in relief, finally, I managed to trick them. Next, he had to figure out how to solve Shen Rua Dian's issue. There were countless cultivation paths, besides demonic cultivation, surely there must be another solution. The scene shifts to Shen Rua Dian sitting on a stone bench, lost in thought. Don't be too naive. Have you forgotten who caused the current situation? She said angrily as she recalled the cruel image of Su Changsheng. In the past, he abandoned me and never returned. In this life, if I have the chance, I will personally seek revenge against him. At the very least, I'll make him strip naked and kneel before me in front of everyone in the sect. As Su Changsheng breathed a sigh, he thought to himself, what's happening? I need to quickly finish this and leave. Soon, he arrived at Shen Rua Dian's residence. Pushing the door open, Su Changsheng announced, Shen Rua Dian, I brought you food. Hearing someone approach, Shen Rua Dian quickly wiped her tears. Seeing her reaction, Su Changsheng hurriedly asked, What happened? Who dared to bully you? Tell me, I'll help you fight them. Shen Rua Dian hastily hugged Su Changsheng's arm and said, Nothing happened. Shen Rua Dian thought Senior wouldn't come. Gently patting her head, Su Changsheng reassured her, Why wouldn't I come? I'll always be there for you. Are you hungry? Here, I brought some food for you. As he spoke, Su Changsheng pushed the wooden box towards Shen Rua Dian. Seeing the food, Shen Rua Dian's eyes widened in surprise. She thought, these are all. Seeing Shen Rua Dian's reaction, Su Changsheng felt a bit worried. What's wrong with this reaction? Is something not right? Did I make a mistake? Are these dishes not to her liking? Before Su Changsheng could think further, Shen Rua Dian rushed forward and hugged him. The hug made Su Changsheng feel uncomfortable as he thought to himself, Is this how you want to take my life, elder sister? Looking at Su Changsheng with tears in her eyes, Shen Rua Dian sobbed, I'm sorry, senior. Just now, I suspected that you were Su Changsheng. Su Changsheng tightly and hesitantly said, There's a possibility that I might be. Upon hearing this, Shen Rua Dian looked at Su Changsheng's vague face and cried, It can't be. 
Su Changsheng couldn't treat me like that. He couldn't pay attention to details like food. Watching Shen Ruidian intently, Su Changsheng thought to himself, I intended to become somewhat familiar to gain more favor, before revealing my identity, why is everything turned upside down now? Her feelings for me aren't as pure as I thought. At this moment, Su Changsheng changed the subject, picking up the chopsticks and saying, we should still eat first. Su Changsheng sighed inwardly, doing good deeds, goes unrecognized. Truly pathetic. Hunger is not good. You should eat a little, Su Changsheng said, picking up some food with his chopsticks and offering it to Shen Ruadian. She obediently accepted. After taking a bite, Shen Ruadian found the taste incredibly delicious. It reminded her of the past abuse in the Supreme Sword sect, where she could only eat leftover rice and soup given by others. Pointing at the food box hesitantly, Shen Ruadian asked, Senior, are these leftovers from others? Hearing this question, Su Changsheng, somewhat puzzled, said, What are you talking about? How could it be leftovers? These are meals prepared by your senior from the dining hall. Realizing this, Su Changsheng suddenly understood, this girl must have suffered a lot before, so she shows such expressions when eating good food. He didn't want to dwell on sad thoughts, so he quickly urged Shen Ruadian to eat more and served her food eagerly. The atmosphere was cheerful and warm. After finishing the food, Su Changsheng said, Junior Sister Rua Yuan, if you don't have any achievements in the sect, or if you want to leave with me to the mortal world, that's fine too. It wasn't boasting, even in the mortal world, he had some influence. There, she could live freely without worrying about food or clothing. After saying these words, Su Changsheng thought smugly, keeping her away from cultivation and experiencing a better life, there will be no chance for her to become a female assassin anymore. But suddenly, Shen Ruadian's words blew away Su Changsheng's thoughts. She said slowly, Senior brother, you were sent here to drive me away, weren't you? Seeing Shen Ruadian's innocent face, Su Changsheng felt a pang of sadness. Shen Ruadian's answer was, I'm not leaving, which startled Su Changsheng. Shen Ruadian excitedly said, Didn't senior brother say, before that I have great talent? These words made Su Changsheng freeze for a moment, and finally, he understood the issue. Of course, you have exceptional talent. You're the future master of demons. Once your bloodline awakens, your talent, excluding Zhao Yuxi from the Supreme Sword sect, who else could be stronger? But this talent isn't on the righteous path, Su Changsheng thought, feeling a bit saddened. Hearing Su Changsheng's silence, Shen Ruadian continued, Senior brother knows that I and senior brother Su don't see eye to eye. Hearing this, Su Changsheng sighed inwardly. Of course, I'm well aware of that, he said, trying to control his emotions. Junior sister, your senior brother Su isn't as evil as you think. Upon hearing this, Shen Ruadian, with an innocent demeanor, said, Is senior brother worrying about me? She stood up sporadically, saying, Senior brother, you don't need to worry about me being hurt, but intentionally talk to help that scum guy. In the future, I will protect senior brother, even if it costs my life. Su Chang Xing quickly grasped Shen Ruadian's hand, saying, Don't ever think like that. Your life is more important than anything else. His hurried words unintentionally touched Shen Ruadian's heart. She silently thought, am I that important to senior brother? Su Changsheng seemed to understand Shen Ruadian's heartfelt thoughts. He pulled her closer and said, yes, you are indeed very important. Su Changsheng thought to himself, everything I say is true. If I can win the favor of the future demon master, no one from the divine destiny faction would dare to trouble me again. Before Shen Ruadian could stabilize her emotions, Su Changsheng took out a manual and said, right, the cultivation method you practiced before wasn't accurate. It's better for me to teach you. Read this sword manual first, as wielding the sword is your cultivation path. After saying this, Su Changsheng took out a book with a golden light streaming straight into Shen Ruadian's forehead. Embrace the sword and integrate it into your soul. Su Changsheng looked at Shen Ruadian as she sensed the sword manual. He silently thought, in the visions I saw earlier when the demon master confronted the four great divine lords of the Dying Gu, Shen Ruadian alone slaughtered them all. She enjoyed the taste of blood, but in the end, she exhausted herself to death. Su Changsheng hoped that this time, Shen Ruadian wouldn't fall into the demon path and suffer that fate. Of course, if everything went smoothly, and he could win the favor of this big thigh, it would be even better. After sensing the sword manual, Shen Ruadian happily said, Senior brother, I. I think I can really cultivate now. Su Changsheng again silently thought, Can it be that easy to break through? Are you heavenly destiny disciples even human? You've achieved in ten years what others would take a lifetime for. After some thought, Su Changsheng encouraged, not bad, not bad. You've been practicing diligently these past few days. Don't be lazy. Next time, I'll come to visit you. With that, Su Changsheng intended to leave. 
At this moment, Shen Ruidian grabbed his robe and said, Senior brother, when you say next time, when exactly? I want to prepare well in advance. After saying this, Shen Ruidian's face blushed involuntarily. Trying to remain calm, Su Changxing said, I'm not too sure about that. These days, just focus on your sword practice. In his heart, Su Changxing muttered, What does she want to prepare for? And when can I come? I need to see when Zhao Yusha will release me first. Hearing this, Shen Rui Dian felt a bit disheartened and said, All right, then gently released Su Changxing's robe for him to leave. Su Changxing left with a bit of regret, originally expecting a breakthrough, like Zhao Yusha did, when he received the White Emperor's inheritance. Why haven't I received anything from her breakthrough now? Su Changxing sighed and said, Forget it, if not, then so be it. Maybe my celestial realm is too low. As Su Changxing left, Shen Rui Dian stayed behind, saying, Senior brother, I'll always be waiting for you. Back at Zhao Yusher's place, she and the White Empress were still practicing. With the White Empress's support, Zhao Yusher's cultivation was progressing steadily. After a session, Zhao Yusher happily looked at the White Empress and said, I can now summon the image of the Emperor. Does that mean my White Emperor's technique has reached a higher level? The White Empress, with a hint of worry on its face, said, It's just barely. You've only grasped the surface of the White Emperor's technique. If you fully master it and apply it, you'll definitely be very powerful. Hearing this, Zhao Yusher didn't understand and asked, How can I fully master it? The White Empress explained, Back then, Emperor Deng mastered the Emperor's technique, and every movement he made demonstrated the solemnity of the Supreme Being. Even his breath showed authority. Except for the Emperors, no one could reach that realm. Zhao Yusher stood up decisively and said, Then I will become that person, the pinnacle of the celestial realm. After that, I will marry Su Changsheng. Saying so, she seemed to be practicing for the sake of her love for Su Changsheng. Not long after, Zhao Yusha hurried back to Su Changsheng's room. From outside, she exclaimed, Su Changsheng, I've made a breakthrough. The White Emperor's technique has leveled up again. But upon opening the door, she found Su Changsheng nowhere to be seen. At this, the White Empress also appeared and said, It seems he has something more important. He must have. Hearing that Su Changsheng had something more important than her maid, Zhao Yusher frustrated. Zhao Yusher's eyes showed jealousy. At the same time, Su Changsheng was heading back from Shen Rua Dian's place. He sighed as he walked, I didn't expect going back and forth to take up so much time. I hope nothing has happened. However, as Su Changsheng stepped into the room, he was suddenly held at sword point, and the one threatening him was none other than Zhao Yusher. With a sharp gaze, she asked, Su Changsheng? Where were you going? Su Changsheng stammered, I was going to cultivate and enlighten my Dao. Hearing this, Zhao Yusher angrily shouted, You're a liar. In fear, Su Changsheng saw Zhao Yusher threatening with the sword at his neck, saying, Su Changsheng, if you're not here, I'll really die. With the sword pressed against her own neck as a threat to commit suicide, Su Changsheng screamed in fear, Zhao Yusher, don't be agitated. Listen to my explanation. With tears in her eyes, Zhao Yusher retorted, What else is there for you to explain? I know your heart isn't with me. If that's the case, what's the point of me living? Hearing this, Su Changsheng grew even more frightened and rushed to Zhao Yusher's side. In his urgency, he grabbed the blade of the sword Zhao Yusher held. He hastily said, You're my only family now. If you want to die, then kill me first. Even if you die, I won't be able to live. Listening to these words, Zhao Yusher's emotions gradually stabilized. She asked Su Changsheng, Are you telling the truth? Su Changsheng showed a more sincere face than ever before and affirmed, I'm not a child, I'm very serious. Hearing this, Zhao Yusher let go of the sword and hugged Su Changsheng tightly. After calming Zhao Yusher down, Su Changsheng silently acknowledged the truth in the saying, Sincerity is the final key. Now, the most urgent task was to comfort Zhao Yusher's emotions. Su Changsheng gently stroked Zhao Yusher's head and said, Be good, don't cry anymore. Zhao Yusher looked up at Su Changsheng and asked, Where did you go just now? Su Changsheng glanced at the food he had brought back and said, I was afraid you'd be hungry when you came out, so I went to buy food for you. But upon hearing this, Zhao Yusher shouted again, too casual. If you remember what I like to eat, then it's not being casual with me. She yelled as she hugged Su Changsheng roughly, causing him great pain. He thought to himself, oh my, my waist is about to break. Su Changsheng tried to say, of course, I remember what you like. It's beef. In his heart, he thought, how could someone forget such a strange thing? Hearing Su Changsheng mentioning her favorite dish correctly, Zhao Yusher became gentler. She thought, this time, I misunderstood him. After speaking, she playfully blew into Su Changsheng's ear and said, Next time, don't use cultivation as an excuse to deceive me. Su Changsheng gently stroked Zhao Yusher's head and replied, All right, I won't. 
At this moment, the white empress appeared and looked at Su Chong Sheng. She thought to herself, he really didn't deceive you. He truly cultivated. Although not fully formed yet, that sort intent, once manifested, would rival that of any ancient master who had cultivated for thousands of years. With Zhao Yuxi, having cultivated for only a few hours, she might comprehend a sword intent of remarkable quality. Su Chongxing thought to himself, how far will you go with this terrorism? Zhao Yuxi, still continuously teasing Su Chongxing, said, Su Chongxing, tonight I want to be with you. But before Zhao Yuxi could finish her sentence, the White Empress dragged her away to practice cultivation. The White Empress said, Zhao Yuxi, don't waste any more time. We need to work harder. As time passed, Su Chongxing sat in his room, refining the sword technique for Shen Ruadian. He sighed heavily. Last night, the White Empress suddenly became interested in cultivation and took Zhao Yuxi away, saving Su Chongxing from a predicament. He had spent the whole night revising the sword technique, and now it was almost an entirely new sword manual. He wondered if Shen Ruadian would be able to practice it. While Su Chongxing was lost in thought, a disciple entered respectfully and said, Senior brother, the elder wants to see you. Su Chongxing wondered, why would this elder want to see me? But he followed the disciple to the elder's location anyway. Su Chongxing smiled and asked, Elder, are you well? What brings you to me today? When the elder turned around and noticed a sword intent on Su Chongxing's body, he was extremely surprised. Seeing the elder's strange reaction, Su Chongxing also wondered, why is he so surprised? Has he noticed something? The elder quickly regained his composure and said, It's nothing, it's nothing. I just came to ask if you need anything. In his heart, he secretly thought, what is this sword intent? It's only been a few days, and he has already made progress in cultivation again. At this moment, Su Changxing respectfully said, I appreciate the concern of the senior, but everything remains the same, there's nothing amiss. Looking at Su Changxing, the senior elder felt a bit surprised in his heart. Why does Su Changxing seem unaware of his sword intent? With his character, even if he doesn't deliberately show off, he should still be somewhat arrogant. Seeing the senior elder staring at him intently, Su Changxing felt worried. No, I need to find a topic to divert his attention so that this old head stops scrutinizing me. At this point, Su Changxing took out a sword manual and said, Fortunately, with the senior elder here, last night I spent three hours rewriting a sword manual. Could you please take a look and tell me what level this sword manual can achieve? Hearing this, the senior elder was even more surprised. Su Changxing, this mediocre fellow, can actually write a sword manual? Before he could ponder further, Su Changxing had already brought the sword manual in front of him and said, It's just an introductory sword manual. If the quality is too poor, I hope the senior elder won't be angry. The senior elder slowly said, Su Changxing, even if it's the first time you've composed a sword manual, it's normal for it not to be of high grade. Cultivation cannot be achieved in just one or two days, let alone writing one in just three hours. As he spoke, he glanced through the sword manual, thinking to himself, even if Su Changxing is a genius, geniuses are not omnipotent. But as he thought about it, his eyes couldn't leave the sword manual because of the extraordinary essence within it. He glanced at Su Changxing and asked, is this the sword manual you spent three hours writing? Facing this question, Su Changxing was a bit puzzled. What does he mean? Looking at his expression, could the quality be so poor? He feel like spending three hours writing this is already too long. Su Changxing replied lightly, It's not really three hours, maybe a little less, just casually written. It's too shabby already. At this point, the senior elder was still focused on examining the sword manual, but upon hearing Su Changxing say it took less than three hours, he was slightly excited. Holding the sword manual in his hand, he thought to himself, As a senior disciple for over 500 years, I've seen countless sword techniques of the cultivation world, categorized into heaven, earth, mystery, royal, and fourth grade based on strength and weakness. Although the sword manual is just an introductory one, if perfected, it could establish a sect. What wisdom do I have to judge the sword manual? With that in mind, he sighed. Seeing the senior elder sigh, Su Changxing also felt anxious. Even if it's bad, there's no need to sigh like that. The senior elder looked intently at Su Changxing and thought, he's such a genius, why has he been pretending all these years? And why wait until Zhao Yuxi returns to reveal himself? After some contemplation, the senior elder's eyes brightened as he concluded that it must be because Su Changxing had previously declared Zhao Yuxi as his disciple. Anyone who dared to scheme behind his back would inevitably face consequences. Su Changxing had caused such a stir at the disciple selection event. Now, by giving him a portion of the sword manual, it was all to establish authority and warn him not to take action while Zhao Yuxi was cultivating. With admiration, the senior elder thought, the sect leader truly has foresight. 
the Supreme Sword sect may have such a talented individual, so there's no need to worry anymore. Seeing the senior elder so moved, Su Chongxing asked, Senior elder, how do you feel about it? What do I feel? The senior elder asked back. Then, in resignation, he said, Su Chongxing, I cannot determine the level of this sword manual. You keep it safe. After saying this, the senior elder immediately left, leaving Su Chongxing bewildered. Unable to determine? Could my sword manual be at the lowest level? Is it really that bad?